Hi everyone, welcome to today's lecture. Today we are going to talk about the composition of functions. So in this chapter you have studied about relations, types of relations, functions, types of functions. Now you will explore the composition of functions. So this composition of functions means combining two functions together. This doesn't mean adding two functions. Let me tell you an example. Here we have this bakery where you can see these three machines are working together. First machine is producing flour which is used by the second machine to produce bread. And the bread produced by second machine is being used by third machine to produce sandwiches. So they are working together. So this helps you to understand the basic underlying principle of the composition of functions. Here you can see I have these three sets. In the set A, I have these three elements A, B, C. In set B, I have the elements D, E, F. And in set C, I have the elements P, Q and R. Function f is defined from set A to set B where f of x is the function and function g is defined from set B to C where g of x is the function. So now A has the image as D, B has the image as E, C has the image as F. So these three elements D, E, F are acting as the domain for this function g where the image of D is P, for E it is Q, for F it is R. Now there could be a function which will directly yield you P from A or that will give you Q directly from B or that will give you R directly from C. So that is called the composition of function G O F which we call as the function G of F of X. It is defined from set A to C. Here the domain will be A and the co-domain will be set C. Now how does it works? Let's see that with the help of this example. Here you can find I have set A, B and C. In set A I have the elements 1, 2, 3 and 4 and in set B I have the elements 2, 4, 6 and 8. Now function f is defined from set A to B where f of x is equal to 2 of x. Next I have this function g defined from set B to set C. Here you can see clearly I have these elements belonging to set C. So when you see this function f of x, according to this function, 1 has the image as 2, 2 has the image as 4, 3 has image as 6 and 4 has image as 8. These four elements 2, 4, 6 and 8 which are forming the domain for this function g will be basically giving you the image according to this function g of x. I have 2x plus 4 that is giving me here 2 into 2, 4 plus 4, 8 then 2 into 4 that is 8 plus 4, 12. So I have 8, 12, 16 and 20. These are the element for the set C. So now there could be a function which will directly give me 8 from 1, which can directly give me here 12 from 2. So I will be obtaining that function. That is called the composition of function g of f. What is that? This is g of f, that is g of f of x. So here f of x is 2x. And g of x is clearly 2x plus 4. So when I talk about g of f, this is composition of function f and g. This is g of f of x, that is g of 2x. And that gives me 2 of 2x plus 4, that is 4x plus 4. So here, each and every element of the set C are obtained through this function g of f of x. You can clearly see, if you put here x or replace x by the elements from the set A, when 4x plus 4 is there function g of f of x, you substitute x as 1, you obtain here g of f of x as 8. When you substitute x as 2, you obtain g of f of 2 equal to 12. So in similar manner, all these elements belonging to the set C will be obtained as the range of this function g of f of x. That's why this is composition of function defined from set A to set C. So now when this composition of function will be defined? This will be defined when the range of this function f will be subset of domain of the function g. Then only you can say that this is defined. Here let's take up the actual definition. You can write on over here that let f be a function defined from a to b, g be a function defined from b to c. Then the composition of function f and g is denoted by g o f and it is defined at function g o f defined from a to c. It is given by g of f of x for all x belonging to a. You can see that domain will be set a and co-domain will be set c. 
So, this is quite clear from this example that when this function g of is defined, I can clearly see that each and every element belonging to the set A is having an image in set B, each and every element belonging to set B is having an image in set C. So, this function will be set as defined because for every element belonging to set A, I have an image in set C. But when you consider this example, each and every element of A has the image in set B, but each and every element belonging to the set B does not have an image in set C. So, this will not be defined for the function GOF. I can say that GOF is not defined. It will be defined only when the range of F is subset of the domain of G. So, let us discuss a basic example related to that. Here it states if F is a function defined from set of real numbers to set of real numbers and G is another function defined from R to R. Where it is given that F of X is equal to X square plus 5 and G of X is equal to 3X. Then you need to find F of G and G of F. So, let us try to find the solution. So, here very first when I talk about F of G of X. So, this means obtaining the function f of g of x. You can clearly see g of x is provided as 3x. So, this means obtaining f of 3 of x. f of x is x square plus 5. So, f of 3x will be 3x square plus 5 where on simplification this becomes 9x square plus 5. So, here I have obtained f of g of x is equal to 9x square plus 5. In similar manner, let us obtain now g of f of x. Here g of f of x will be equal to g of the function f of x. Now here you can clearly see f of x is equal to x square plus 5. When you obtain g of x square plus 5, g of x is equal to thrice of x. So this will become 3 times x square plus 5 which will be simplified to take the shape of 3x square plus 15. So, I have here g of f of x equal to 3x square plus 15. You can clearly see I have obtained the composition of function f of g which is 9x square plus 5 and g of f which is 3x square plus 15. It is quite evident from this fact that function f of g is not equal to g of f. And it is not necessary that the, both the functions should be equal. You should just check that it is defined. Here for the function g o f it exists and it is defined only when the range of the function f is subset of the domain of g. I hope it is clear to you. So now let us discuss few more questions based on the composition of functions. <music>